Hey, hey, Tony Gas here. As you can see, I'm knocking my little videos out for the week. So I'm going to try to do a little productivity hack that some of us do. And I'm not, I don't care enough to be changing shirts and changing outfits and changing locations trying to make, make you think it was shot day of. And I still may get a chance to shoot videos on other days. So you may see two uploads, but just is what it is right now. My wife is on. Um, combing out my youngest son hair so it gives me some little time in here to just kind of shoot the breeze now listen the three b's the three b's is my creation this is something that i created and just coming up with just trying to compartmentalize the different areas we need to work on this was from my book mrs wright a woman's guide to finding and keeping a husband or something like that and that was in 2012 so mind you this still was before the boom of single relationship coaches and relationship coaches period where I was being asked these questions by women from my first book what daddy never told his little girl I also want you to understand this is not something that I want to talk about this is not something that I enjoy talking about. This is not something that I that I just would tell somebody to do or that I want to do the rest of my life. I'm doing it because I'm called to it. And I'm doing it because these are the questions that are asked of me. And I'm also doing it because men don't express these things to their daughters. And because of that, a lot of women are just shooting in the dark and don't know which way to go or how to understand a man because a lot of men don't open up and communicate so that's what i'm trying to do is provide some clarity and some communication now listen these are components to being in a relationship and being relationship ready and i call them the three b's the first b is the brain now what the brain encompasses this, en this encompasses your faith, meaning reading your Bible, getting to know the Lord, falling in love with the Lord, submitting and surrendering your life to God. The brain also incorporates healing, meaning getting new knowledge. Identify your past mistakes, identify your pain points, and get new knowledge. Look at the cause look at the effect, look at the root, look at the fruit. Identify what's in you from your mother, what's in you from your father, and then look at the result of those characteristics. Do they produce good fruit? Do they produce good results? If the answer is yes, then you retain those things. If the answer is no, then you uproot those things and you replant something new, new knowledge, new instruction, a new way of living, a new lifestyle. So the brain encompasses all of these things, getting knowledge about what mistakes you made in your past relationship, what red flags you missed. And what is a healthy relationship? What is love? What is marriage? What is a ready woman? What is a ready man? This is what we have to learn. This is the brain. Next is the brand. Brand is more than just having a job or a career. Have those things, but you also need to have something that is your creation. Something that shows the world that you were here. It can be a blog. It can be a book. It can be a company. It could be a t-shirt line. It literally can be anything that comes from within. Being a doctor does not come from within. Being a lawyer does not come from within. This is somebody else's institution 
somebody else's establishment and you did not create it. You may be good in it. You may excel. It may be great, but it's not enough for your life on this earth. Be more than a social security number. Show the world that you were here, that you existed, and that you left your mark. Now, there are careers that you could fulfill that in. You could fulfill that. And if you feel like you are fulfilled in your career, which I've only heard about once or twice in my entire existence as a life coach of people saying they're fulfilled in their career, literally once or twice. And I feel like the one person I could think of is more so recent. I feel, I honestly feel like she was speaking out of fear and a lack of knowledge of entrepreneurship and thinking that she had to be a full-time entrepreneur to have a brand. And that's not what that means. Brand means you create something. It doesn't even have to make money. It can, you can learn how to monetize it. You can learn how to make money from it, but it doesn't have to make money. And then last is the body. The body, what this encompasses is you not sleeping around, you not playing with yourself, you not becoming addicted to masturbation, addicted to pornography, and you not having unprotected sex, you not having sex, period, outside of marriage. And then also the body is you having a healthy, diet, meaning that you're eating clean to the best of your ability, you're drinking clean to the best of your ability, and you're working out every day. So, and when I say every day, that could be three days a week, but even on them other days, if you're not lifting weights, which we should all be lifting weights of some sort, it doesn't have to be heavy weights. You literally could get a five pound dumbbell and do 10 curls, do 10 curls on the other arm, 10 curls on the other arm, do three sets of 10. You can get on the, the leg press, put a little weights on there, press it out. Lifting weights does not make a woman manly. And, it, and for a man, it does not mean you have to be a bodybuilder. But you need to lift some type of weights, even if it's your body weight. If you're doing body weight squats, push-ups, sit-ups, planks that's still lifting weight to a degree if you don't have actual weights you can move around go to youtube look up the proper form look up workouts on youtube you got them you get them for free you see the form for free and then you go to your gym membership or get the equipment bring it to your house and you do it right at home but lift weights on the days you're not lifting weights if you do that three days a week on the other days you need to be walking at least 30 minutes, moving for at least 30 minutes. And this right here, eating right, working out, and not sleeping around, not getting caught up in addiction, sexual addictions, whether it's masturbation, pornography, what have you, this encompasses the body. So these are the three Bs, brains, brand, body. I even put them in that order for a specific reason. Brain just meaning... This is the command center. This is where everything flows from. Brand meaning that's your business. That's your purpose. That's what you're doing. And then your body. The body is important, but I put it last because I don't want people to get so caught up in getting surgeries or being so superficial or feeling like the butt got to be a certain way, breast got to be a certain way, and getting so caught up in Focusing on weight. That's a that's a process that you need to make gradual progress. But so although these could be interchangeable, they really all the same. They really all are equally important because to have one without the others, it doesn't make for a good life. So yeah, you can have faith, but within faith, even in your Bible, it talks about taking care of your body it talks about using your talents like investing in your talents 
So be mindful. You come in, buddy. What you about to do? About to go to bed or? You was coming to say good night or what? Yeah. No, no, I was just coming to say hi. Oh, you come say hi? I'm about to close my video real quick. Hold on real quick. Come in. You come in. So that's the three B's. Get the senior spirit. Watch this two, three more times. Get this in the spirit. Come and take. Take just got his hair. <laughs> you don't look bad, buddy. You look good. <laughs> it looks good. He got his hair up in the little in the little plaits. They don't they don't like it, but they don't understand it look cute. <laughs> look, look good. Good have your hair to have. I wish I had my hair to have. But hey, God bless y'all. We'll talk soon.